shit. Got the new podcast! Check this out. This is my favorite part about the whole thing. Arl Stein's Fear Street becomes R-rated. Netflix movies, with the first teaser, they're going to do three movies on Netflix based on R.L. Stein's Fear Street, and that shit's going to be R-rated. It's like everything we always dreamed for fucking Goosebumps, dude. I feel like they should do that with a lot of old properties from when we were growing up. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the Goosebumps, the shit like that. I feel like now that we're grown up, the audience for the people who read those books want something more. And I felt like the, the Goosebumps movies were fine. Yeah, Jack Black in it. I took my kids to see it. I had a good time. But they weren't for me. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, I didn't ever rewatch them or anything like that or get any real entertainment value out of them except for a chuckle here and there. But the fact they're doing it, by the way, Christopher Nelson is on this SFX design team, which is mm. fucking dope as shit. And in the trailer, they show some good slasher goodness. So if you guys haven't got a chance to watch the trailer for those, they got an old potato sack dude running around there. Looks like some slasher one of them's based in the 90s one of them's based in the 70s they got the skull suit thing on i'm fucking jacked to the tits for for uh, for fear street man it comes on july 2nd uh and then one week in summation one week afterwards uh, summation w in concession i can't Man. see my own shoes uh yeah one week in a row starting july 2nd they've got three different fear street movies coming to netflix and the trailer looks good so watch it yeah, dude, I'm excited about it. I didn't, I mean, I just didn't, I really had low expectations when I watched the trailer because I thought it was going to be another cutesy pootsy goosebumps thing. I'm like, right. oh. and then it was, I was like, ah, uh, yeah, I feel like you're here. I like it. Okay, where do I sign? And it's good. I like it. It's good stuff. Yeah. And I'm it's weird because I barely remember Fear Street. I mean, I remember Fear Street, but I always read Goosebumps and I would read Fear Street now and again, but it was like, uh, it was kind of, and I know it was like even the books were supposed to be like more mature. Like a more mature audience. Not like it was more like the rated PG 13 of the Goosebumps series. And then the Goosebumps was more like PG. Yeah. I never saw, I never read Fear Street, to be honest with you. I'm just excited for that Goosebumps ish quality to, to take because it's never done that before. It's always been, like, even the show's good. Like I like watching the show with Ellie and she loves it. But yeah. like they've never taken the jump into any kind of adult territory whatsoever. So it's actually really exciting. But no, I didn't even read the Goosebumps books, books dude. I, I, had, I collected dude, I, them because I like the covers. Yeah, I had I had read them. I had a shit ton of them. I even had those. I think they even came out with like a choose your own adventure goosebumps. I was like, this shit's off the hooks. Uh, but no, even more excited to know that that Chris is going to be doing that. And he tweeted something about it today. Hey, he's in the chat right now. He says, hey, there watch, it is. He says, watch Fear Street because I did some cool stuff. I yeah, I, I wasn't even licking your butt because I knew you were there. Uh, mm. I, I was just licking your butt because uh, I wanted to. Okay. Mike was caught mid lick. Well, okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, Chris, you should come on the show right now and talk about it. Wherever you are, just come on this show right now and talk about it. We'll do it together. Uh, and I promise we won't squeeze any spoilers he out. Just, he's probably like, I got fucking work, asshole. I, I got <laughs> I real said. shit I have to do. I came on your stupid show, you dick. Love you, buddy. Chris Reynolds, he said, okay. Hey, okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, hang on one sec. Hang on one sec. Give me a second. Popping up in this mother right now is the, the Academy Award winning man himself, Christopher Nelson. Hey, Chris. What's up, dude? What's up, you guys? Not too on? much, man. <clears throat> How's it going? Where uh, are you at right now? You're not in the usual background. I'm on Zoom ruining your show. No, no. <laughs> it's I'm hard doing. to ruin this show, buddy. <laughs> so you uh, you on set somewhere right now? You filming Halloween mm -hmm. ends? It's okay. You don't have to tell us. Uh, we just finished Halloween ends. It's amazing. It comes out tomorrow. <laughs> no, uh, Fuck yeah. Yes. Breaking news. <laughs> Breaking news. We got this covered. <laughs> Get on it right now. <laughs> no i'm like i said i'm ruining your show i love how you guys are doing in the middle of your show and i'll just pop on just see what you guys talk about and then i'll leave of course but <laughs> and then i uh and then i'll and then i'll type something and go hey guys what's up and then you get and then it ruins your entire show it ruins your flow. <laughs> like just like i did today you guys had a plan mm -hmm. you had an agenda you got a list of yeah. shit you're talking about you're gonna make everybody happy and then I come along and wipe the table clean. <laughs> Fuck it all up. I'm yeah, start that list you. usually goes out the window in about 10 minutes anyway, because we'll get into it and be like, oh, shit, let's <laughs> go ahead and talk about something else. Like, what'd you have for dinner last night? Oh, I had pizza rolls. <laughs> it just goes out the window. <laughs> yeah, that's usually, that's usually when I sign off. I'm like, oh, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> um, so no, makes you hungry. I just got back from set. I've been working my ass off. I did a long day, and we're shooting something down here in Atlanta, and um and uh, I'm I'm here to say hi to you guys and to promote Fear Street. Fuck yeah, yeah, man! Fear Street the trailer <laughs> came. Out it looks pretty good, right? Oh man, it looked pretty. Yeah, it really did. I like I was telling earlier. I was like I had low expectations going in when I heard the trailer because I thought it was going to be like you know 
Thank yeah, like yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. No, it was. It's like a goosebumps thing. I just thought it was going to be like a Jack Black. We talked about that, like kind of like an easy kind of going. You know, take yeah. your kids and have a good time and eat a po- you know a bucket of popcorn. But I saw it, dude. And I'm like, wow, it looked fucking really good. Like, it looks solid, and they're yeah. and I really like what they're doing with the approach of three different shows doing it that way. Yeah, it's a fun thing. I, I, you know, I haven't seen it. I wish I had, but I hadn't seen it. The director's fantastic and. It is like what you guys were talking about just earlier. It's kind of, it's goosebumps, but elevated into a rated R mm-hmm. world, you know, kind of, it's not, you know, it's, it's not last house on the left. So don't right. get excited <laughs> about that, but you know, but it's, uh, but it, it's got some really cool stuff in it and it plays with a lot of the archetypes of, of slasher movies and horror movies. You know, we have <clears throat> all different kinds of characters and killers and stuff. So it's, it's, it's going to be, I think it, I think it'll be fun. I think it's, you know, pop your popcorn, sit the fuck down, you know, let's enjoy. take a trip on fear street. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. And, some, yeah. That, that well, I saw it'll be better. If you drop, drop some acid, it'll be amazing. <laughs> It would be <laughs> fucking the backhand headline. Jason will be coming out of the wall from 1978. Yeah, that, that's the headline be- right there. Christopher Nelson yeah. says, "Drop acid before you watch Fear Street, kids." Great. <laughs> I love that I live in the culture that anything I say will go on fucking. <laughs> You know, don't worry. The, Not on our show, buddy. You're safe. Mike's got TMZ on like speed dial. I can't. I'm gonna yeah. start recording this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was one of the things I noticed that the uh, when it took place, you know, the 1978 year, like um, man, that was like to see backhead Jason. I know it's not Jason, but it looked cool as hell. Like I was like, holy shit, that's go- that's great. Did you have anything yeah. to do with that one or? Yeah, yeah. I we did all three and we shot them back to back. Uh, and uh, there's you know familiar-esque type things that you know it'll it'll make you happy if you're into all that kind of stuff that 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 the time periods of where horror movies were at in those time periods you'll Mm -hmm. you'll dig it so it's 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 just fun it's a fun movie it's cool so you know you'll dig it was it fun or going back to the 90s or back? Because I saw that was one of the things that excited me about it. Not only the R rating, which I'm hooked immediately. If you're talking about Goosebumps and R, you know, R-rated stuff or Fear Street, you know, same thing. But um, was it when I saw that it was going to go to the 90s and then the 70s, I was like, oh, you guys are really scratching my ass with this one. Was it fun or going back to the 90s or the 70s? Because you've probably gone back yeah. to the 70s before, right? 70s for me because I'm older than all you guys. So the, the 70s are the... That, that's that that's the golden age for me is the 70s so and that was actually one of the reasons why i took the movie besides being friends with the the, the director is fantastic and she's super cool i did her first movie called honeymoon and um uh which is a was a kind of a very indie low budget movie that i thought turned out real well it's a cool movie if you haven't seen it i haven't i'll um, check it out though it's it's cool it's her first movie and it's 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 interesting movie you should check it out uh but uh um the 70s thing i was like i read the 70s script i got all three but when i read the 70s one i was like oh i gotta do this because yeah. there's a lot of familiar stuff in it that you guys will like i think so yeah how fun was it to do the different time periods and have to work on like in the you know, 94 78 and then 16 66 like did that like stretch you creatively or did you like that a lot yeah for sure it, it did it, it it's uh it's challenging you know and i also kind of in a weird kind of way, I don't, I don't, I certainly can't spoil anything because I'll get fired again. But I, I <laughs> again, <laughs> and, but, that's uh, got to be a story. <laughs> um, you know, you, tr- I tried also too to kind of go with the different time periods. Obviously, not 1666. There were no effects in 1666, yeah. but try to do, or maybe there were. Uh, that I tried to do, kind of lean creatively lean towards a, a an aesthetic or a look to that time period you know what i mean which yeah. which is fun to do you know um yeah it's fun it's uh there's a lot of lot of stuff man a lot of stuff in it and uh hopefully some of them will become iconic i hope you know we'll see i don't know did uh What's just... the new myers <laughs> photo huh oh dude, dude. <laughs> holy shit i know you i know you know what we thought about it but Jesus Christmas! Can I can I ask you? By the way, I wanted I wanted to ask you this when I when I texted you the other day. Did can are you allowed to say how you did the burnt thing? That's not that can't be a spoiler, right? Like how you made the burnt shit look like the burnt shit. You know, <laughs> not it, to call you burnt shit, but you know what I mean. <laughs> no, it's burnt shit. 
<laughs> you just threw poop, poop on there and like blow torched it. <laughs> I put on a I put on a monkey suit and threw poop at it. Um, I, it's art in some countries. That's art. Exactly. <laughs> People pay a lot of money for that service. Oh, 100%. <laughs> I, uh, I, can't, I, I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. Okay. Fair I'm enough. not going to yet. I'm not going to yet. I'm going to wait until the movie comes out because, you know what, I want it to live where it's live. I'm, I'm going to I've, I've kind of I'm going to kind of make it a point on this one, to be honest with you, to stop talking so much about <laughs> how shit's done and the, the behind the scenes thing of it. Because I, oh, I want to. Jesus. But, I wanted to live in the movie. Okay, see you guys. That's where you cut me. <laughs> Fuck like, Chris Nelson. <laughs> I just kind of want to go back to let it live in the movie, man, and, and let it be secret. You know, let it let it let 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 it just be there. And enjoy it there. You know, that's, like for people to buy into the movie magic rather than worrying about yeah. what goes on behind the curtain. Yeah, I think there's too much of that. I, I know I get the curiosity, and I think it's cool, and I'm and I'm flattered, but. In, in the end, you do it so people will watch the movie and enjoy it and live inside that world. And I think that's why we enjoy the original Halloween and some of these mm. older movies is because we don't only until you know you don't you don't really know everything. I mean, some people think they do. Dude, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what that's that's actually true. I remember uh, I I love the thing the 1982 the thing I love it. It's was, it was yeah. great, man. And then when I figured well, I, out how they did well because you know they oh dude badass nice holy shit that's great yeah i love it man and then when i figured out how they did you know the, the doctor reaching in and, and having his arms bit off I, and you know because they did like a whole behind the scenes thing and i watched that i'm like well shit it kind of takes you out of it when you watch that scene because you're like oh that's how they did it okay it's not scary cause, anymore because that's all kind of really you think about now when you watch mm -hmm. those sequences you're like oh they did that and they hired an amputee and made him go you know right and, all that. and that's, that's where you know, they lit on fire all the toxic stuff that Rob Bottin didn't, you know, it was like, <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it kind of, it doesn't ruin it, but it, you know, it just kind of changes the perspective of that film. Yeah. 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 Well, you were, you were, you play, I know you play bass, uh, right? So did I you, do. did you play in a band? I don't think we ever talked about that. I did play in a band back in the eighties. Okay. Did. <laughs> There you go. Got to get those demos. By the way, we got to hear it. Now. I was, I was, I was in a, I was in a heavy metal band. It was more like a new wave of British heavy. I used to have hair like down to here. It was, uh, uh, I, I hear, I see you laughing. It was true. <laughs> no, um, I believe it. I, just... I used to actually be cool, uh, and I and I was in a heavy metal band in the eighties. I played all the clubs like on the Sunset Strip. I did the Whiskey and the Roxy and the troubadour and, and the man. waters club and stuff and uh um those were very different times but at the same time getting into makeup effects that was kind of i was getting into it and then i really hit my stride you know early night like 91 or something like that but uh but yeah i was in a band and uh it was fun of course you yeah. fucking were i was like were you ever in a band you're like yeah play the fuck whiskey go go no big deal you play the fuck strip man you know <laughs> <laughs> of course you did well that's that the only, that's why i asked that because that's when I um, I love the idea. By the way, of keeping the mystery and not talking about it, we always talk about like, with the trailers and stuff like that. We were just we were just talking about how, you know, obviously we hope the trailers for the new movie don't don't show much. Keep it all very vague as possible. So we appreciate that. You just took it another step further. But the reason I it took me back to the band is because I always remember when I was growing up, I always like admired and i still do but like really admired like the writing process of people in bands and stuff like that and like th i thought it was amazing when they do what they do but then when i was in a band much smaller than yours and you meet the other people in these bands in the backstage and all the stuff like that it really just like it becomes so not disneyland anymore it's like oh you're yeah. just a dude like me who just fucking wrote a song eating his cheerios this morning you know yeah. what i mean so yeah I like it. Yep. I totally agree with that. Mike's sentiment. band played the strip, but it was the Walmart parking lot <laughs> strip. <laughs> well, I guess I got to ask you, you're the, you know, you're the effects guy. So when you're reading the script, they probably at least got to come to you and be like, by the way, this is R-rated. Do whatever the fuck you want. Or they had to come to you probably and be like, keep it to a minimum, Chris. Uh, mm. wh what was that conversation like in regards to this being an originally a kid's property? Um, it depends. You know, it it's weird. Like, David Gordon Green's really good about going, what can we do? Let's do something cool. And you're like, okay. Mm. And then you do it. And then you do it. Mm. Um, he's great at that. Um, this movie was, it was a little bit of balance of both. There were some things that, that I was like, we should do this. And it was like, great. And then we did it. But then, you know, 
just because it's an R rating doesn't mean you can do whatever you want because then it ends up being a no rated thing, you know. Right. So, yeah. so there are limitations even with an R rating uh, that you have to do, and also you have to play to your audience. You know, you're you're talking Fear Street, and you're talking R.L. Stein. You have to. There's a lot that goes into the decisions that are made. Again, it's like going back to not to talk about Halloween again, but I'm gonna. Is that <laughs> you? you uh, people always have these things about you know, oh, the mask wouldn't really do that, or the mask wouldn't really age that way, or it wouldn't burn that, or whatever. Everyone's got an issue, mm -hmm. and that's fine and well. But there are reasons why we make the decisions we make. Is because you have to weigh the balance of what people want to see what happens in the context of the story, what's going to work visually, what's going to, you know, you can't, you, you, you got to kind of work within a lot of parameters. And, right. and again, if you can make people happy within that, then that's a good thing. Um, and then of course you got to listen to the director too. Cause like you, yeah. uh, you had said before, you know, um, specifically with the masks of Halloween, yeah. that yeah. every director has a different creative vision on what they want the mask to look like. So you have to work within that confines. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You're you're not the you're not the. It's not like it's my way or the highway. The mask <laughs> like this. So fuck you. You can't yeah. do it. You know, yeah, everyone's yeah. work. And David has a very clear vision, and so mm -hmm. does Bloomhouse, and so does Miramax, and so does Universal. Everyone's got a very clear vision. And it's very, it's a very, uh, um, um, uh, you know, cooperative kind of collab collaboration. Yeah. A type of vibe that you all come to a decision that we think feel is best for yourself creatively and for the fans so right. again if you can hit the mark doing that then you're ahead of the game i'm excited for people to see it i think the mask in this is personally better than the last one i i'm super super stoked about it i, I love the a, battle damage on it man it looks so yeah, fucking good yeah it's a it's a, it's a new well i can't say that either damn it um, <laughs> Damn you live people. Uh, <laughs> are you people alive and watching TV? Uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, it's going to be cool. I'm excited about it. And I was, so that picture is fucking dope. I was, I was surprised with that. Cause I honestly didn't think they were going to re start rolling out a campaign until next month or so, you know, like maybe July. But so to get that picture excited me too, cause I was like, woohoo, look at that. <laughs> Were you so. psyched they didn't show the complete profile? Because I mean, they've done a good job of being like, "Yes, okay, the mask's gonna be." You could saw you saw the teasers like it showed a little bit of it, but they ha they still haven't done the full you know right side of his face yet. And I'm not gonna ask you that because I'm not trying to slip you up. I wonder if there's no. I, I wouldn't reveal that first of all, and second of all, I, you know, it's kind of like going. I took my shirt off, but wait till I take my pants off. <laughs> And then you take the pants off and you're like, it's no big deal. And you're disappointed. So everyone take it easy. <laughs> Don't act like you're not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go. I, I'll stop bothering you. Get on with your show. I'm sorry. Hey, to interrupt, but thank hey no, you. man. We loved having you on. Dude, thanks for coming, man. That was cool shit of you. You yeah. never know what's going to happen on this shitty YouTube channel, guys. You got to stay tuned. You don't know. Chris you don't Nelson know. could show up. One of us could die. Anything could happen. A, a crack that. whore could come out of the, out of the closet and be like, where's my money? I mean, just crazy <laughs> shit. Jerry Springer. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, as well, have fun. Enjoy Amen. the rest of your show. Thanks, everybody, for letting me bother you. Thanks for letting me bother you. Watch Fear Street in July. And I hope some of you go see Halloween in August or October. <laughs> October. Maybe, All right. maybe a couple okay, of them. <laughs> see you, Chris. Love you, man. Thanks. Yeah,